when he pulls the katana down, you're just like, oh, <laughs> you couldn't have found a cooler weapon for this. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, so many mall ninja pieces of shit in the world have a katana, and and like they, they make those Instagram videos where they're they're like holding it and stuff, and they look like such jabronis. And like I've owned, I I own a katana, or I did before the federal government took it from me, but but <laughs> I just thought it looked cool. Wait, what? Oh, it's a long story. Just just Google. I, I I'll send you some links. It's a it's a whole thing. <laughs> he's spending um, months in prison, but he's out now, and we're happy for him. Yeah. So came and took it from you. Yeah, the federal government. The which department was it? The ATF. Uh, I believe it was ATF in conjunction with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and a couple of local uh, departments. Wait, so how did they know you had? Because he was posting pictures of himself in a fucking gi. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing off my kata on Instagram, and they decided that, that I, they registered me as a lethal weapon. That's not, the truth. None story. of this and is true. <laughs> the standing there and threatening poses with a sword with the hashtag, not my president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, that that's that's oh, real harbor. Pal, let him off the hook. Weird. Tell him what happened. <laughs> Fast forward. I, that that's what exactly that? what had happened. They they saw my kata. And, and <laughs> came and they said, "Hey, you're not allowed to have that." Um, I, said, I, I, I got one of my cold dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Nippon steel. Yeah. Um, I uh, I got caught with half an ounce of marijuana, so they arrested me and they took all my weaponry away and put me in federal prison for a few months. Hey, wait, is half an ounce of marijuana against the law? Because I got to go do something. <laughs> um, a, I, I was informed by the federal prosecutor that a joint is against the law, and it wouldn't have mattered if I'd had a bud of marijuana or a, or a speck of it. You know, as far wait, as federal law is concerned, is that it? That was Atlanta. That's federal. But yeah, it well, happened in Georgia. In Atlanta? Not in Atlanta. Um, I've since moved from, from that locale. But yeah. uh, that was northeast Georgia. I'm in Atlanta now. How did they find how did they know you had that much weight? Um, they intercepted a package with half an ounce of marijuana in it at a at a post office. Hmm. Yeah. You know what's funny is I have a friend of mine who when this whole quarantine thing went down. I was like, what are you doing for money, man? He goes, oh, I'm, I'm shipping out weed. And I was like, what? And he said, nobody at the post office is touching packages. So now's the best time to ship out weed. And I True. checked in. I go, you still shipping out weed? He goes, no, no. As soon as people started going back to work, he was like, but nobody was touching anything. So I was just shipping out weed all across the country. Good for him. Yeah. yeah. Entrepreneur. Could I get his name and address? That's genius I, until it's not. That'll really buy me some... Uh... <laughs> Some help in my next uh, my next court session. <laughs> I thought you wanted to be a customer when you started with that line of questioning. No, no I, want to, I want to knock him out. <laughs> Is Georgia still not legal weed? Right. No, no, it's very much not legal. Man. Let me tell it's you. It's very much not legal. Put North Carolina too. It's the Republicans. They're not big fans of the pot. The pot. It's, they don't like you. You're taking it. But you know what? I mean, they are a fan of the economy, right? Yes. To an extent. Because for me, that's the thing. Like, even it, because the, the states that have it legal, they tax it. The tax on the weed is so fucking high. It's billions of dollars. Yeah. It's like, it's, uh, and just as far if you're a state that has agriculture, you're, you're, you're adding jobs there also. Like it's really. Are you, so help me because I'm, I'm coming from a position of ignorance here. I feel like pot agriculture isn't like regular agriculture. They're not growing it outside in fields and using the same tractors that we use on corn. It's yeah, like hydro. grows and there are outside grows, right? You don't want to smoke any outside growing weed though. No, you don't want to smoke ditch weed. You want designer not. high quality pot. I'm That's smoking. It. But here's the deal. It's still jobs. Right. You're still opening up an industry. It's still and here's another thing. Right. Like you have to be honest with yourself. People are people who want weed are going to get it. So do you want them to give the money to people outside of the country or do you want them to give money to people legally inside the country? 
Those are your options because if you're going to say, well, we're going to make it illegal so nobody's going to smoke it, that's You're kind just- of preaching to the choir here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're all on that team. We're all on the, the pro pot team. Yes. You know, even Woody is, and Woody doesn't even – you know, yeah, I'm on the pro pot team, but not for me personally. I'm just pro legal.